Judgment here. I thought I'd try and show people some of the problems I've had trying to get OBS to display and record Diablo 2 and how I got round those problems. I'm recording this on the new notebook I bought a week ago to try and stream to YouTube but when I tried to get OBS to display and record Diablo 2 I ran into a number of problems and I'm going to show you what those problems are and the fix that worked for me. Now what you can see here on the screen at the moment is device manager from my laptop and as is common in most laptops that have discrete graphics cards it has two graphics cards and it appears that certain programs use one graphics adapter and other programs use another and that causes a problem because OBS expects to run all the programs with the one graphics adapter so for example um, the display that you're seeing here at the moment is recorded within OBS using the display capture and I'm going to show you in a moment the two GP units from within NVIDIA. Now the problem is that uh, OBS will only utilize one GPU so I'm going to run the NVIDIA settings here. Now we're on the global settings auto select but if you go to the program settings tab you'll notice here that I've got OBS there and I'll show you where to find that in a moment if I select the drop down box for Diablo 2 you'll notice that I cannot select the NVIDIA GeForce graphics card so when I installed Diablo 2 it just said right we're going to use the Intel integrated graphics and that means we also have to do the same thing with OBS the default install for OBS though is to run with the NVIDIA graphics card and that creates the situation where the program is trying to run from the integrated graphics, the Intel graphics card OBS is trying to run from the NVIDIA one and the two just won't happen at the same time so what we're going to do here is change OBS to run from the integrated graphics now I've already done it but the way around it assuming you've done the default stall of OBS is to click add browse JJ's Acer in my particular case program files locate OBS studio bin 64 bit highlight that and when I click open here, and I'm not going to do it again because I've already done it, that will then add OBS to that list of programs that you can see in the NVIDIA control panel. So I'm going to go cancel and get back to the NVIDIA control panel. Now notice here that we can select any one of the two, sorry, any one of the three settings here but we just want integrated graphics, you do not want the high performance NVIDIA processor so with this selection we now have Diablo 2 running from the integrated graphics for where there's no choice and OBS running from the integrated graphics or at least there's a choice but it's important that you run them from the same graphics adapter on a desktop where there's only the NVIDIA GeForce one that's not a problem So assuming we've done that, I'm going to click apply and wait for the box to go away. It takes a few seconds. And I'm going to minimize that and minimize that. All right, I'm going to go into OBS shortcut and I'm going to assume here you want to launch OBS to record Diablo 2 it has to be run as administrator now OBS is already running to make this recording here 
if you go right click you can go run as administrator every time but the best way to do is to do properties advanced and check the box that says run as administrator when you get to OBS assuming it launches I'll just make this a bit bigger here you go settings and on your output you need to have the encoder selectors as x264 that's the Intel integrated graphics and I'm doing that for both the streaming and the recording tab so I'm going to go back to output here I can't change them at the moment because I'm actually using OBS you will see NVENC don't select that, that's the NVIDIA graphics card. Okay, I'm going to uh, swap into Diablo 2 at the moment. Right, I can see my test character called OBS Test, just a barbarian. I'm going to run around a bit here and I'll tab out. And I have to move the OBS window back every time now what you should see there I'm going to swap back to the display now and the problem is is that you don't see anything you get the game sound but not any of the video because there's still an additional fix that needs to be made now Diablo 2 evidently ran best in an old graphics mode called 3dfx glide so what I'm going to do here is start up Firefox. I'm going to show you where to find the 3D FX Glide Wrapper that uh, fixes that problem. We're just waiting for it to load in here. And I'm getting this from a notepad document, but I'll put the uh, link in the description and make a copy of that web address go back to Firefox and paste it in so this is Sven's wrapper uh, written by a German programmer he's written a number of versions of it what we want to do here is download this zip file I'm going to go out to the desktop and I'm going to replace the one I've got there minimize Firefox I now have this zip file I'm going to extract it and there are the files now the one we want is this one here glide3x.dll now to put it in the correct spot I'm going to open up program shortcuts go to the Diablo 2 shortcut and open the file location and then all you want to do is drag this file across to there now in this I've already put it in there it says do we want to replace the destination file we'll skip it so there's our glide3x.dll file now drop that down and now to make the game run we go back to program shortcuts properties and at the end of the shortcut space minus 3d fx click apply and continue OK going to exit out this Di Diablo 2 at the moment because this one is not running with the 3DFX glide wrapper now just to show you the difference I'm now going to launch Diablo 2 again and you might hear a noise there 
Now, what I can see on the screen is a little notice saying optical optimal resolution notification saying it should be 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to load in the character OBS test again and it's quite noticeable with the 3DFX glide wrapper that the colors are brighter and in my opinion the graphics are a bit sharper. So I'm going to alt tab out again and within OBX, OBS rather I'm now going to swap to the Diablo 2 scene, go back to Diablo 2, get the noise again. So I'm on the Diablo 2 scene now, but hopefully it should now be recording Diablo 2 cor correctly. So I'm going to go back to Diablo 2, run the character around a bit. Again, every time I swap back, I get that optimal resolution notification. Alt tab out, and I'm going to stop the re uh, alt tab out. And now I'm going to swap back to display. And now, hopefully, you should have seen Diablo 2 recording correctly within OBS. Now, this is a fix that worked for me. I'll put the main steps plus the uh, link to Sven's Glide Wrapper in the description. But if you've had the same problem as me, I hope these steps have been helpful. Now, they, you may not need to use all of them. You may not need to use the Glide Wrapper. You may not need to alter OBS to run from the Intel GPU and a laptop. I certainly didn't have to do it on my desktop. But uh, if you have found these steps helpful, then that'll have made producing this video worthwhile.